This is Distant Horizons, and I'm playing it on top of the Valhelsia 6 mod pack. You may have seen videos of people flying around in amazing landscapes and seemingly infinite viewing distances. That's the Distant Horizons mod. It's not yet available on many mod packs, but that doesn't need to stop you from using it like I did here. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install Distant Horizons on top of several mod packs, and you can try it on the mod pack you're playing. Even if you're playing on a server, it works on the client only. So you can just go ahead and add it to your own client. Speaking of servers, please give me a few seconds to thank the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. If you wanna play Minecraft with your friends, Apex is a great way to do that. They have Java and Bedrock servers, one click mod pack installation, great performance, seven day money back guarantee, free server transfers, 24 seven support, DDoS protection, automated backups, and you can be set up in five minutes or less. If you do check them out, please use my link, jangro.com slash apex. That supports the channel. Thank you for your support. And thanks to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. Distant Horizons is an amazing mod that lets you experience incredible views on Minecraft like you see here on this page. These are actual screenshots from the Distant Horizons mod. Through some sort of voodoo magic, it allows you to see very far in your Minecraft world while keeping with the regular Minecraft render distances. That means really far viewing distances without hurting performance. If we look in the Files tab, we can see that it's available on many different Minecraft versions on a few different mod loaders, Forge, Fabric, and NeoForge. So if your mod pack that you're playing matches these versions, you might be able to play it on your mod pack. I've got a blog post to go along with this video that pretty much goes through everything that I'm talking about. I'll link to that in the description so you can check that out. And we go through step-by-step -step on how to at least attempt to install Distant Horizons on just about any mod pack. All right, let's just jump right into CurseForge and update a few of these mod packs. I'm going to assume you're using CurseForge since you're playing modded Minecraft, but this process is just as easy, if not easier, on other mod launchers like Prism. My favorite's Prism, AT Launcher, ModRynth, etc. But essentially, we just need to modify the mod pack, add content to it, search for the Distant Horizons mod, and install it. So here at the top are the ones that I've tested doing this on, and most of them work. Spoiler alert, Prominence 2 RPG doesn't, but these all do. I have a whole blog post that outlines some of the problems I ran into, talking about how to do this in detail. If you want to check it out, I'll put it in the description. We right click on the mod pack itself to get to the add content button, but it's not visible. That's because we need to change the profile options to allow content management for this profile. Now, once we do that, we have add more content. The change version disappears. You can need to do one or the other. Click add more content. Here, search for Distant Horizons. Here it is right here. Note that the filtering is set for the same that is the mod pack. So this is a NeoForge 1.21 mod pack. It's only gonna show me mods that are compatible, which is a good reason to use a method like this because the launchers will only show you what's compatible. Click install. And that's it, we're done. Now we're back here, we're ready to go. Let's click play. Okay, here we are. If we click on options, we can see here that we've got the Distant Horizons configuration. We did it, we installed it. Let's put it in creative. And we can see here that our horizon is generating. If you listen to your computer at this point, you'll hear the fans going crazy. The CPU and GPU are working really hard to update the world. We hit F3, you can see over here on the right, that Distant Horizons is working, it's loading, it's, it's doing some world gen tasks. This is how you can tell that it's working. Honestly, the best thing to do is to just sit for 10 or 15 minutes AFK, let the computer catch up, let the world generate around you, and then you'll see truly what Distant Horizons is all about. All right, it's been about five minutes. I think we've got enough. So look at this, you can see how far already that we can, we can see so much farther than the regular render distance, which is kind of halfway through that village. I can actually turn it off, turn off rendering. Here is regular rendering. And here is distant horizons re rendering. Pretty neat. It looks even better with shaders. Let's take a look at a mod pack that has shaders built in. All right, let's try it with better Minecraft. Same process, profile options, allow content management, add more content, find distant horizons, install it. Close that out and run it. Okay, same thing. We now have better Minecraft. Here's the Distant Horizons config. Create a new world. A lot going on here. Better Minecraft has shaders. We the options, video settings, shader packs, and it's got some installed already. So we can enable them. Turn on complementary reimagined. 
Now, I don't think complementary 5.1.1 is compatible. So let's quickly install another one. And I'm just going to drag in some updated shader packs that I have downloaded. Let's put 5.2.2 in here. That's better. So there's the thing with shaders. You just need to make sure you have the latest version of shaders. Shaders in general need to support distant horizons. Complementary, ESL, Bliss, Photon, all offer distant horizon support. But just look at this, it's amazing. And it's barely even filled in yet. I'm gonna let this generate and then I'll be back in a while and we'll take a look at it. And here we are again with, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes of rendering. You can see how far we can see. This is so amazing and it's so great in a mod pack like this because there's so many structures like this behemoth of a structure. I mean, that's right over there on the horizon. That's probably something similar. So we can see distant mountains, biomes. It just makes exploring, especially in a pack like this, so much easier. Let's look at one more. All right, so, so far we've done an easy one that had no shaders on 1.21 with NeoForge with all the mods 10. Better Minecraft is 1.20.1, Fabric. And let's do one more 1.20.1 mod pack on Forge, which is Valhelsius 6. So if we edit the profile options, allow content management, and then add more content, search for distant horizons. Here it is. And we'll just load this one up. Okay, now here we are in Valhelsia 6. Doing the check here, we've got distant horizons loaded. Let's load up a world. I've already created a world in here. Okay, here we are in the Valhelsia 6 world. Valhelsia 6 comes with shaders preloaded. I had to update them just like I did with Better Minecraft. So we've got complementary unbound 5.22 loaded. But there's something wrong. It is not rendering out past the regular render distance. And that's because there's a mod in here, Alex's Caves. We need to fix something in there. So I'm gonna quit out and back in CurseForge, we need to open up the folder, which is right here. Go into config, find Alex's Caves. And again, I've got this all documented in a blog post in the description. Open the Alex's Caves client .toml file and edit it with notepad. And in here we need to set biome ambient light coloring to false. Save it, close that, close that, and run it again. Now here we are back in that same world. You can see everything rendering. All we had to do was disable that option in Alex's caves. That's just one of those things. It's a mod incompatibility. There are a number of different mods that are incompatible. This is a common one that will be in a lot of recent mod packs. So this is a good one to know. I've got that process all documented in that blog post, like I mentioned. All right, there you have it. We have added distant horizons to three different mod packs. Give it a try and see if you can add it to the one that you're playing. I gotta say, it really changes modded Minecraft. It changes mod packs that have a ton of structures. I mean, you can see in the background structures those floating islands from Forbidden in Arcanus. There's a, that cliff house over there. None of these things would we be able to see. There's an Ars Nouveau tree. I see mineral trees. I see that village over there. We'd be able to see none of these things without Distant Horizons. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you give Distant Horizons a try. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.